So welcome back to today's video guys we are back in business don't forget to like comment and subscribe follow me on my twitch channel subscribe to this channel drop a ton of likes on this video turn on notifications all that good stuff your daily reminder you know how it is so looking at the stochastic variable an absolute favorite of mine that has come back to the game but i come with you guys with some bad news in the sense that this bad boy has random rolls now but somehow all of these juicy randomly rolled stochastics have managed to be worse than the static roll from year one now you may be able to guess what that is i'm trying to give you a hint right now as i switch back and forth you get it you see where i'm going with this torch hs3 the scope here we have on our screen all of the current best smgs in the game that i can think of or most of them anyway and if you look at the zoom value of all of them you will see that the new stochastic variable has a zoom value of 13 Whereas all of these other really great SMGs have a minimum zoom value of around 15, especially the 600 and 900 RPM archetypes. So looking at the Shayura's Wrath, looking at the Multimac, looking at the Antiope D, the Friction Fire, hell, even the Taraba, which I did a video on a couple of days ago, has a zoom value of 16. Now, the current stochastic comes with barrel options. That means you are stuck with the candle sight that it comes with. And it's just... I'm going to show you gameplay of the random roll and then I'm going to show you gameplay of the static roll and you can see the difference. The thing with Stochastic and, you know, the Phase Magazine perk, if you guys aren't aware, Phase Magazine is a perk where you can change this 900 RPM lightweight SMG into a 600 RPM SMG. And it was a really, really awesome weapon in year one. The problem is, though, when you make a 600 RPM SMG um, with 13 zoom, like on this one now with the candle sight, it just doesn't stick. It doesn't stick. The hit registration feels really off on the weapon and the range feels very, very subpar compared to other SMGs in the similar archetype. Like if you use Shayera's Wrath or if you use Multimac with the, obviously Shayera's Wrath doesn't come with sights, but it does have a stock zoom value of 15 and the Multimac zoom value can go all the way up to 17 with a Model 2 loop sight, which is obviously what I use on my Multimac. And it makes all the difference, man. This gun, I was so disappointed using this thing. And you know, this is the static roll you can see on your screen now, and you're gonna see the difference. I'm on bottom tree striker as well, so there's a fair bit of punching, but it just transforms the gun. The static roll also comes with tap the trigger. So that makes it really, really good as well. And the gameplay you're gonna be seeing is of the static roll. And the reason why I'm showing you the static roll is because this is the version of this gun that is good and is what you would want out of this weapon does that make sense i could show you gameplay of my many random roll stochastics but they all suck this is what the weapon should have been now i really don't get what bungie's angle is with the future walkout weapons making them um come with barrels instead of sights like they've done that on all of them and i really don't understand why so for example on the returning scout rifle it comes with a very blocky high zoom range scope and you can't get another one the uh, number thankfully the number does come with a stock sight that is really good so at least they gave it a good sight off the rip but the stochastic really suffers by having that low zoom candle scope it kind of kills the gun in my opinion at least in pvp and i don't know how good this thing would be in pve i am not a pve guy but one thing i am going to do is just show you some of the possible roles you can get on the current stochastic if you are still interested in the weapon. For me though, with Shira's Wrath being available as the three win reward and trials, and it just being a better weapon in basically every single way than this thing, I just can't recommend putting any effort into farming for this weapon. I really can't. You've got obviously the Multimac in the top slot. You've got the Extraordinary Rendition as well, which is a 750 in the top slot. You know, you've got other options that are just frankly better than this. When it comes to exotics, you have something like the Huckleberry or even Taraba, which I did a video on. Oh, that's very unfortunate. I was on a nice kill streak there and I got ended by a withering blade from out of nowhere. And it's just, yeah. I don't know what to tell you guys. This, this gun is so good, the one in my hands right now. This thing is phenomenal. It's one of my favorite SMGs I've ever used in this game. But it's kind of crazy how just changing the sight can really just change how a gun feels. And for me, this is one of those rare cases I, Bungie probably didn't know, or maybe, you know, they probably didn't know, or they didn't think it would make that much difference. 
but it really does make a difference to a weapon like this. It's an SMG. Ah, oh, nice shuriken yet again. It's an SMG, a low range, low zoom weapon, and not being able to put on a medium scope zoom sight on this gun really, really like makes it kind of useless. Like, obviously it does still have something going for it in the sense that Omel and SMGs do have the rare feature of phase magazine. Only weapon in the game, only legendary weapon in the game, you know, that can change its archetype via the use of a perk, which is obviously cool. But again, like, if you're going to change this into a 600 RPM with phase mag, just know that without a high zoom scope, you have the low zoom and low range of a 900 RPM with 600 RPM damage, which is really, really bad because, you know, if you're going to be at 600 RPM, you need more range to make it worth using. If it's going to shoot slower and have the range of a lower range archetype, it, it just makes it kind of, kind of, kind of ass. There's no other way to put it. There's no other way to put it. And I'm telling you, man, I used I used the gun for a, a while and I could barely win a game of Rumble using that stochastic. It was just absolutely, wow, I sent that guy flying. It was so tough. And then this game you're seeing here was my first game using the static roll with the Torch HS3, which is obviously a medium zoom scope. Really, really great red dot sight. My favorite thing about Omelon weapons is literally this sight. It's so nice. It's so good. And yeah, my first game, switching to the static roll version, and I was fragging out. I started to question myself, you know, I was like, I'm just not good enough to get gameplay with this stochastic variable. What is wrong with me? And then I was, you know, did a little bit of digging. I looked at the zoom value. I looked at candle and, uh, you know, it, it was it was just very, very, very interesting to see how much difference this makes. And, you know, it's unfortunate. Gotta give props to Bungie for bringing back a suite of, you know, faction weapons. It's a good thing. This is the kind of thing that kind of pads out the loot pool a little bit. And, you know, there's still other good future walkout weapons I'm going to want to obtain. But unfortunately, the stochastic variable is not going to be one of them. Maybe in a patch, they could switch out the site from candle to this. And just by doing that, people will start chasing this gun. Because like I said, I think I've said it a billion times already in this video, but Torch HS3 really transforms this weapon. I mean, it's the same thing. If you take a multi-mac and you go and use a multi-mac with a low zoom iron sight, and then go and use it with a high zoom scope, you will see the difference with this. It's the same thing. It's very, very important to the weapon. You can see there we dropped 39 defeats with the static roll. Trust me, I wasn't dropping 39 defeats with the random roll. And it's a strange one, right? You, you'd think there's no situation where a static roll would be better than a random roll, but in this particular case, it is the case. So if you guys don't have access to it, unfortunate. But if you do have access to it and you want to use this gun in quick play, then that is the one I would recommend. Shout out to my sponsors as always, Evolve PC, Advanced GG, and Battle Beaver Customs. Check them out, code DFP for 10% off, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Yeah,